Hey everyone, Board Game Brody here with Meeple Mountain. I was sent a brand new copy of Guerrilla Marketing by Roxley Games. Guerrilla Marketing is a party game for three to eight players, and this advertising agency has a problem. The CEO blames the quote idiotic advertising executives, but a bigger problem lies ahead. He just fired them all, and oh boy, you could hear his rage fueled tirade all the way down to Fourth Street. And you know what? He ended his tirade with, I could replace you morons with gorillas and get better results. Well, it's been a month since then, and well, he actually did it. He hired a bunch of primates, you and all the other players, of course, to get the job done. The game is played in two rounds. Get your primate brains ready, because on round one, you will be naming ridiculous products, movies, companies, bands, college courses, or even food trucks. On the second round, you will then create a tagline for the winner that was in round one. To set up, each player will pick a booklet and a dry erase marker. The banana tokens are placed out in the middle of the table, and the eight dice are placed in the dice bag. A theme is then chosen, and the corresponding leaflet is placed out for all to see. Each player will be drawing one dice out of the bag and rolling it. With the result, they will check the theme leaflet to find what their category is. This category is written on the top page of your booklet, and this is the category that you will be judging after all other players have submitted their ideas for it. You actually won't be making an idea for this category yourself, but you will be for everyone else's. Here are some examples. Now on round one, naming things, everyone starts by passing their booklets to the left so that you're not writing in your own booklet, and whoever is chosen to be the active player will draw and roll dice one at a time. You will stop rolling when you either get two red face dice or four dice total. A 2x means repeat the next letter twice, and a blank dice will be nothing and it just shortens how many letters that are used. Now each player opens their booklet to an empty tab and they will need to think of a title that matches the category for that booklet and also uses the letters in order to form the title. The dice rolled will become an acronym in which you will use to write out full words of what they mean for that category. After writing your title, you'll make sure you need to write an X on the tab that you wrote on showing that you use that page already. Joining words like and, of, or the, or whatever else that you might think of can be used as much as you would like within the title without needing a die to use them. Each player will then flip that booklet back to the cover page and pass it to their left. Eventually everyone's going to get everyone else's booklet to write an idea for. The active player will then return all the dice into the bag and passes it to the left for the new active player who will roll the dice for the next turn. Once the booklet that you started with returns back to you, it becomes judging phase. Each player will judge their booklet one at a time following some steps. First, you need to figure out what you are judging on. So you will need to consult the round one judging phase section of the theme leaflet. You will need to draw and roll a die and look at the award in the left column. Do this again with the second die so that you have two options that you can choose from. You will then pick one and announce it to everyone before you read anyone else's titles that they've written in your book. Now you can read them off to everyone to hear. You will then choose the title that you like best. Does it match your award best or is it just the funniest and most clever? Whatever you chose, the player whose answer was chosen takes a banana token. Write the winning title on top of your booklet and erase all the answers on the pages in the booklet and return all the dice to the bag. The next player will then judge their book. You will go on until everyone has judged their book for the first round. After they all have judged, round two begins, marketing. Again, you will pass your booklet to the left so that you're not starting with it, and you will follow the steps of rolling, writing, and then passing. You will then again do the judging phase following the steps, making sure that you pick out the award, you choose the winner, and then you'll clean up. The player with the most banana tokens after round two is the winner. This is definitely a game that requires wit, quick thinking, humor, and above all else, a relaxed, fun atmosphere. With that type of setting, the game will prove to promote laughter, social interaction, and an atmosphere of fun enjoyment. 
If you're a movie buff, the game will become even better as players will create spoof titles and taglines that seem familiar with a crucial added detail. It's fun to create masterpieces of things that can be or should be, but also of some that should never be. I'd say that the only thing that could be better in the game is providing more topics. Products, movies, companies, bands, college courses, and food trucks are great, but I would love to see some added topics to help refresh in the game. If you're looking for a new party game and love being funny or quick-witted, then this is your game. But even if you're not, it's also fun to see what other players make up, and you might surprise other players with some of the crazy banana ideas in your head. Come join the firm with all the other gorillas in Gorilla Marketing by Roxley Games. Again, this is Board Game Brody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table.